Child, let me sip my tea before I spill the tea. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome, welcome. So today, I'm gonna give you all a story time because baby, I got some stories I wanna tell y'all. My name is Simone, if this is your first time here, welcome, I am so glad to have you here. And if you're returning, girl, what's up? What's good, how you been? So in this story time, it's about to get super lit because it gets real crazy. Let me, <laughs> let me eat my chips too. <laughs> So, you know, when the summertime happening, we be in these streets, okay? So, I am from Toronto. I don't know if you guys know that. I live in Canada, and I'm from Toronto. So, um, every summer, I, I went to school away from home. So, every summer, I would go back home. I'd go visit my family. And so, I go back home. And, you know, I'm hanging out with my sister. Shout out to her. You know, me and my sister. Sister, 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 hey, sister. And my sister, she's like, hey, girl. Like, there's this barbecue. And her man's best friend is having a barbecue. So she invites my sister's like, girl, my man's best friend's having a party. You know, he's having a little barbecue. You should come. And I was like, but I don't know anybody. She's like, girl, whatever. Just come. So, of course, I walk in. <laughs> So of course I walk into the party girl, okay? And we walk in, okay? And it was just like a regular, you know, house barbecue. It wasn't really like a party. It was just like a get together house barbecue. So, you know, us and the family, we all went, my nieces, my sister, just everybody, we're all there, you know, pull up at the house. And I don't know how you know of how Toronto is, but we had to go to like a suburb, you know, like Mississauga, Brampton, we had to go out there, you feel me? So when we pull up at the barbecue, there's two women staring at my sister and I. And so this is not the first time we've had girls stare at us. Because, you know, my sister fine. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, she getting stares and nothing. So, there's two women. They're staring at us. And we try to just, like, ignore it. But they keep staring. Uh, bye. Bye, bye. Child, the way these women were staring at us, you would have thought they, you would have thought we robbed them or something. Like, these women were upset, baby. Upset, okay? They won't stop staring at us. So, I look at my sister, and I look at my sister, and I'm like, girl, you know these girls? And she like, uh-uh, sis, I don't know them. Oh, they didn't greet us, by the way. We walked to the house, they did not greet us. So, we're sitting there, we're like, all right, girl, like, let's just go outside. Let's go to the backyard. Let's just go do something. So, we grab our little drankity drinks. <laughs> And we hop out into the backyard, and so we sipping, we dancing, cause you know there's there's some there's some dance hall music, but 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 going on, you know, grinding. So it's like you know it's a party. So we at the backyard, we chilling, we chilling. Next thing I know, I turn around, there's a man staring. So again, what is up with the staring contest at this party? So I turn around and look at this man, and I turn back at my sister. I say, I don't know who this man is. To say it, I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. However, when I turn back and look at that man, that man was fine. Okay, he was fine. Okay, well, he's staring at me, and I'm like, ooh, ooh. I'm thinking to myself, like, you know, because you know, I like to be humble. So I'm thinking to myself, oh, he's not staring at me. You know what I'm saying? But I turn around, he's staring at me. <laughs> I'm asking my sister, I'm like, is it just me or is he staring? My sister's like, yeah, girl, he's staring at you. He's staring at you. So I'm all like, Kee -kee -kee. He's staring, I'm staring, you know what I'm saying? We have a little staring contest, but a good one. I'm like, you wanna know what? I'm just gonna go back inside, like mind my business. And as I'm walking inside, guy, Mr. Mini Idris, let's call him Idris for the sake of the video, let's call him Idris. Idris walks up to me and he's like, oh, do you want anything? Do you want a drink? And I was like, oh, I'm just about to go get myself a drink. He said, I'm gonna get it for you. Back in, he gets me a drink, he gets my sister a drink. He's just so hospitable. I'm like, baby, ain't he a nice little tall, curvy man, okay? So I'm like, girl. So he introduced himself, I introduced myself. I say, hey, Idris. He go, hey, Simone, what's good, what's good, what's good, right? So me and my sister are kicking in the corner like, ooh, this man, he like you, bitch. Like, what you gonna do, bitch? Idris, Idris leaves. Idris come back again, right? And I'm, me and my sister sitting on the couch, and he look at me, he go, do you want anything to eat? I said, I'm hungry. 
So he said, listen, you know, I'm the one that cooked the rice and peas and that jerk chicken, you feel me? And if you Jamaican, you know why the shoulders are going right now because jerk chicken and rice and peas, if you don't know chicken anymore, that shit is good, okay? Y'all gonna pick up on it? A plate of food will go a long way with me. <laughs> he, he was like, you want rice and peas? You want, I got this, I got this, like, baby, he went and made me a plate. He brought me my plate. Okay, the chivalry was on. So at this point, I'm like, this man just brought me a plate of food and he made it, baby, baby. So the night's going on and on and on. And so finally I see him like in the corner and he's talking to someone. So I go over there and he, it's, he's talking to like another guy. So I go over there and I'm like, hey, you know, cause I want to like bat my eyes and you know, give him a little booty. He came back inside from the backyard and Idris said he's gonna get me a drink. When we came back inside, we came back inside separately. So when I sit on the couch, Idris went to the kitchen. So when Idris in the kitchen, the, the, the two women that were staring at us are sitting at a table near the kitchen. So when we come back inside, the two women that are sitting at the kitchen table are staring at my sister and I again. And we just can't figure out what's going on. Finally, these two women get up and they go downstairs. So when they get up and they go downstairs, Idris, you know, he bring me my drink. Everything's cool. Everything's fine. He asked me if I'm if I'm hungry. You know, everything's just fine, hunky dory. Again, I don't know anybody at this party, and we're just kind of like having a good time. You know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't anything. It would it, no alarm bells went off in my brain. Is what I'm trying to say. So again, I see Idris in the corner talking to someone. I get up. I walk over to Idris, and we start talking. And so we start talking. So you know, I come off a little bit forward, and I'm like, you know. I'm just visiting for the summer, so like, you know, what's up? <laughs> Miley, what's good? You know, should we exchange like contact information? Like, you know what I mean? And so as I'm asking him this, the other gentleman that's standing with him, he just kind of makes a face. So I'm like, I look at dude and I'm like, what's that face, right? So he just is like, oh no, that's just my cousin. Like, that's just the faces he makes. I was like, nah, that's a face. What face is that? So dude was like, you're gonna give him your phone number? I was like, yeah. And dude was just kind of like, okay. So I'm thinking to myself like, is that a problem? Like, I don't really understand what's happening. Like what? So Idris is like, yeah, you know, I wanna get to know you. Like, you know, I'm just visiting from the States cause he apparently, he live in New York, honey. Okay, so he's saying he live in New York. You know, he's visiting too. So I'm thinking for myself, like, this is just like a, a ting for the summer. You know, I'm a ting, he a ting. Like, we all gonna be tings together for the summer. So Idris and I are talking back and forth for weeks after the barbecue. And he's like, you wanna know what? I already plan on coming back to Toronto. I have to do a trip. I have some errands to run. I'm gonna come see you. So I'm like, okay, Idris, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's like, I wanna take you on a date. I wanna take you out. So I was 21. Idris had told me that he was 33. 34, 35, Idris told me he was 35, okay? Idris told me he was in his early 30s, he was 35, I was 21. I was like, okay, that's, I'm comfortable with that. So, you know what I'm saying? We were all good with that. So 21, 35, he told me that he had two kids. So I'm like, okay, these two kids were little. So I said, okay, that's cool. Plus this is just a thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's all good, it's all good. So Idris telling me he gonna come back up, he wants to take me on a date, right? And I'm being romanticized up and all, I'm caught up all up in it, girl. So he flies back to Toronto, he comes back, he takes me out on a date, he picks me up. It's just like very romantic, right? So Idris is just like, listen, I wanna spend more time with you. Like, you know, like I'm about to, you know what I'm saying? I'm here for a little bit, so I'm about to rent this hotel room so we can spend some one-on-one -on -one time, you know what I'm saying? Again, this is like a separate night, you guys. So like, he picks me up, we've been talking back and forth for maybe like, a month, maybe a couple months, I don't know. I can't remember the timeline, but it was for the entirety of the summer, y'all. Like, it was like two solid months, okay? He just runs the hotel room, he takes me to dinner again. It's just all very sweet. We get to the hotel room, spend the night at the hotel. All of a sudden, things start to go left at the hotel. So we at the hotel, and um, he has children that live in Canada. However, he lives in America, okay? So. He is bi-coastal, is that what they call it? Is it bi-coastal? Bi-coastal, you gotta be in the same country, right? And it was child, he was by something, okay? And it was to a something. So he had to go back and forth. Basically, the middle of the night, he's like, oh, I gotta go, and I'm like, what? And he's like, oh, 
I think he said it was like a family emergency, like something to do with the kids. So obviously, like I'm thinking to myself, like if something to do with the kids, the kids come first. So go do that. So he goes, he takes off. Cha, he don't come back to the morning. Why? Wow. So he come back into the hotel room. I'm fed up with his ass. I'm ready. To, I'm ready to go home. So I'm like, let's go, right? And he's in a good mood when he walks to the hotel room. He's like, hey, babe. And I'm looking around like, you need to take me home right now. Anyways, he's driving in the car and he's just kind of like, he doesn't understand why I'm upset. But I feel like it was pretty obvious. So I'm upset and I'm just frustrated and I don't really want to, I really don't want to speak. And when I'm upset, it could go one of two ways. Either I'm popping off or I'm not saying nothing. And if I'm not saying nothing, it's pretty much a wrap, okay? So I'm sitting in the car, he's driving me home. I'm not saying much. So he's like, listen, I got to tell you something and I hope you don't get upset and like, you know, just, I really want to tell you because I really, you know, I'm really into you and I didn't expect it to go this far. And so I'm looking at him and I'm like, dude, what you want to tell me? Just spit it out. Like, what is going on right now? Right? And I'm thinking it has to do with the night because he took off in the middle of the night. Ciao. This man proceeds to tell me, girl. I hope you listening, bitch. He proceeds to tell me, okay, Simone, I have a few things to get off my chest and I hope that you still speak to me after this. So I'm literally, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm sitting in the passenger seat and I'm nervous, y'all. I'm sitting in the passenger seat. I'm nervous, but I'm trying to keep my calm, okay? So he proceeds to tell me there's some things that I wasn't completely honest with you about, but I want to be honest now because, again, I didn't think it was going to go this far. So at this point, I'm just staring at this man. So he states, one, I lied to you about my age. I said, lie to me about your age. What that mean? <laughs> I was like, lie to me about your age. So how old are you? He was like, I'm not 35. I was like, okay. He said, I'm not 35. I'm 42. <laughs> that was number one. Number one. Mind y'all, I told y'all I'm 21. I told y'all I'm 21. He said, okay, I repeat, I'm not 35. I'm 41. Bruh. He said, I'm 41. I said, but you know I'm 21 though, right? I said, 41, but you know I'm 21 though, right? He was like, yeah, I didn't want to tell you to freak you out. Bruh. You grown, 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 grown. Like, wrong. Then he said, that's not it. I got more to tell you. I say, oh my gosh. So I'm just staring at this point, y'all, because I really don't know what's about to come out of his mouth. So I'm just staring at him. I'm like, all right, what you going to say next? She. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, what you going to say next? He's like, so you remember how I told you I had two kids? I don't got two kids. I got three. Bruh. I said you were, you lied about having another kid. So I said, how long you had this child? He said, well, my older son, he 21. I said, your son 21, I'm 21. He said, yeah, well, that's part of the reason why I didn't want to tell you. Bruh. So at this point, I'm just looking at this man like, what? Then he said, I got something else to tell you. I said, nah, bruh. I can't take any more, bruh. <laughs> what else you got to tell me, bruh? He then proceeds to tell me thirdly. Okay, thirdly. He goes, I kind of lied to you about my relationship status. What is your relationship status? He said, I'm married. Why are you running? Why are you running? I was so quiet for the rest of the car ride, bitch. Tell me why I found out that one of the two ladies that's staring at us, the ones that were staring at us, you remember the two women that I told you that were sitting at the table when we walked in, they were staring at us? Why is it that I found out that one of those women is his wife? 
it's his wife. The woman that was staring at me at the table was his wife, bitch. What, what, bitch? So that is it for the story time. I hope you enjoyed it. This is literally my life, you guys. My life is literally, sometimes can be this dramatic, but I have gained a lot of peace, okay, over the past few years. But that is just one of the crazy things that happened in my life. I hope you enjoyed this story time, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.